I have a mining turtle, but I don't have a specific need for him yet, though I may end up using him to do some logging, you know, when one sidekick needs more room. But hopefully I'll have this API along a little bit, a little bit more by then. Um, oh boy, that's a real dry run there. 30, 40, 50, 60, nothing. And he refueled. Yeah, I'm sure his fuel is just fine. So, what was that? Found ore at depth 59. Oh my gosh, maybe he found like a, there's a huge vein of diamond over there. That would be nice. Okay, so let's get back while he's still down there. So all of these are going to be very similar to the up and down movement, except I have to take into account his direction he's facing. Um, now, what did I say? Uh, east and west are X. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is just go with the real basics. Check fuel. Skills turtle dot forward. So then, and I'm gonna leave that blank. Break and okay. So here is where I am going to have. I think I'm gonna throw this into another function just to keep it out of my way. Function. Um, whoa, what's going, sorry, this is something that you can't see at the moment, but one moment, I'll be right back, something is going on in the background of my computer. Okay, what, is that still, okay, I'm back, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just, having a little bit of, um, it seems to be like uh, key command conflicts between stuff. I, I accidentally launched some programs in the, in the background is what happened before. So no big deal. I'm um, just getting used to, um, yeah, this, the, the way all, all of my, my stuff is working together now. Okay, so uh, Sidekick should be back up. I'm gonna go see if he has more diamonds for me. Diamonds are Minecrafter's best friend. Creeper out there. No, he doesn't. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, well, he's used a bit of coal, looks like. Um, that's all right, sidekick. You are finally pulling your weight. So, we also, um, it's been proven now that it's not my code's fault. So, that makes me happy as well. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now. Let's get back. Commencing mining. Good for him. Depth 10. Yep, working. Working away. Um, oh, now I was in here. I was working on this function. Um, I don't know if I can do this in a function now that I think of it. Oh, actually, um, yeah, I, I totally can. I totally can. Uh, what should I call this? Uh, update location. Um, and back, backward, backward. And so that's going to be all right. So if backward, then else so right here if he's going backward then um make sure i got this in my head correctly still so um oh gosh so i, I am i am i'm plus I am plus and plus right now. All right, so 
that's that's good. Okay, so north is down in the Z direction. Seriously? This is not making a lot of sense, Notch. And this this is one I can blame on Notch. He's the one who set up this coordinate system. <laughs> So, south is plus a Z. And east is plus X. So, I, I gotta make notes of this stuff. This is confusing. Plus a Z. East equals plus X. All right. Hopefully I can understand that in an hour. <laughs> okay, so going backward. So if F equals zero, E double equals please. Then if f equals 1, then... I don't know if there's a better way to do this, but... Else if f equals 3, then... And why not throw an extra else in there, you know? Else error... What direction again? <laughs> Alright, so this is just So if he's going backwards He's facing north Then um, Z equals Z plus 1 If he's facing south Then Z equals Z Minus 1 Because he's going backwards He's going backwards So he's actually moving north so if he's facing east and going backwards, then x equals x minus 1 as x equals x plus 1. Man, do I hope I've got that right. Ugh. Else if f equals. Um, actually, now I'm thinking about this, I think I might have nested these backwards. Even so, I mean, I could, so if backward, then say like we do factor equals negative one, end, take that out of there, and then, oops, not like that, move you guys all back over. factor equals 1. So I actually need to reverse all these now. So minus plus, because now I'm assuming forward, plus minus. OK, so if he's facing, if you're going north, then that's decreasing. If you're going east, then x is increasing. If you're going south, z is increasing. If you're going west, x is decreasing. OK. That's facing. So if you're facing north and you move forward, mm. oh man, I keep. Second guessing how the way that is structured. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, so then we'll just say factor factor by the factor. There we go. So, you know what? I don't have to worry about how it's structured as long as it works because I'm not going to be dealing with this like ever again. <laughs> um, if successful, then update lock. And, oh, yeah, this is update lock. False. He's not going backwards. He is going backwards. Yeah, we're finally back to actually writing this. Check fuel. Equals turtle dot back. If so, then update lock true. Else break. And there. That looks right to me. So now I have movement turning and everything that keep track of location. Uh, I'm actually going to change this to init location because, oops, function. Can I do like, Return X, Y, Z, because that's what I'd like to do. <laughs> so now, with this, I, I have my basic movement. It keeps track of his location without having to use GPS. I can call init location at any time to recalibrate, just in case. And let's see here, where are we at? Um, yep, he sh sidekick should be back. I'm still, still hoping for more diamonds, of course. Ooh, Skelly. Hey, buddy. They're so, so smart now. Um, gold. Oh, a bunch of redstone, wow. Nice. Um, he's got plenty of that. Doesn't need help. And so there and there. Oh, where I started him. Oh, I should have started him one back. He's going to have a, a funky. have to make a funky turn. But, yeah, go for it, sidekick. I love your work. See you, Skelly. Um. Can I sneak up on him? Oh, this is a little bit laggy, so this is going to be rough. But yeah, I'm sneaking up on him. I'm doing it. Ow! Except he's unsneak up onable. Should have just gone from the front. Probably would have missed me anyway. All right. So. Oh, with that, I've got the very first set of things done on my API. I finally got diamonds. Um, I have not done any testing on this, of course. Yeah, hopefully that should work. And Hopefully, hopefully I haven't made any mistakes. You know, if you're yelling at the screen, that's that's fine. Um, and and I appreciate the effort. <laughs> so yeah, we have our, our basic all of our functions up down, turning. So yes, pretty pretty cool. I like it. And this will be, this This is the base. This is the basics. So I think I'm going to cut off here for now. I want to say 
thanks very much everybody for watching um, I really appreciate all the new subscribers I've been getting and all of the the feedback the comments on my videos it's great to know that people are enjoying this and liking what I'm doing and I'm also open if you have suggestions or if you know you're catching mistakes I, I always try to listen and I'm always always ready to learn that this is not you know um, Lou is not my my main language so this is partially a learning experience for me as well as just having some fun in Minecraft. So I'd say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely you know give my videos a like if you like them. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more. I do, you know, I've got computer craft, I've got my multiplayer, uh, Feed the Beast, and Tech It stuff with Matt, and I also do some other games. I got Kerbal Space Program, great indie game, and also a brand new game, Timber and Stone. It's in its beta. Um, I'm in the beta from backing on Kickstarter, and that one's going to be really exciting, expecting some really great updates um, as the creator of that game continues to work on it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.